Joseph Carl Robnett Licklider, better known as Lick, was born March 11th of 1915 in St. Louis, Missouri. He triple majored in physics, math, and psychology at Washington University in St. Louis in 1937 and went on to complete his master's in psychology a year later and a doctorate in psychoacoustics shortly after at the University of Rochester. He moved to MIT in 1950 where he established a psychology program for engineering students. While at MIT, he worked on a semi-automatic ground environment system. In 1957, Lick worked at Bolt, Burnack, and Newman and turned him into a computer consulting firm. In 1960, Lick published his well-known book, Man-Computer Symbiosis, wanting to enable men and computers to cooperate in making decisions. In 1962, Lick was asked to head two departments at the Advanced Research Projects Agency, ending up with the Information Processing Techniques Office. One task assigned to Lick was to find a better use for computers with a group he jokingly nicknamed the Intergalactic Computing Network. Right, because that could ever happen. He detailed multiple technologies, such as networks and software that exist solely on a network to be used only when needed. Leaving ARPA a year later, Lick never got to implement his ideas himself. In 1965, Lick published his books, Libraries of the Future, which detailed storing and retrieving electronic information at a desk, similar to a computer on the internet. Later on at Xerox Park, with their creation of a computer with a graphical user interface, Robert Taylor himself indicated that his group's work was simply an extension of Lick's vision.